Stem cells are the master cells of our bodies and contain the basic building blocks for blood, tissue and organs. We know that stem cells are unique and have the potential to heal and restore almost any body part. Stem cells drive the natural healing process throughout one's life and your baby's leftover umbilical cord is filled with millions of these precious stem cells. At birth, you have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to store the umbilical cord blood and tissue containing these master cells. These younger cells grow faster and for longer periods of time. With age, cells lose their ability to divide and regenerate. These untainted cells have not been exposed to the harsh elements of the outside world affecting their cell structure. Therefore, protected by the mother's womb, umbilical cord blood is the purest available source of stem cells today. For over 20 years, the stem cells found in cord blood have been used successfully in treatments and therapies around the world. The transplantation of umbilical cord stem cells is a routine procedure internationally, with over 30,000 transplants to date. The umbilical cord tissue itself contains another unique type of stem cell. These remarkable cells have the potential to repair damaged tissues like cartilage, bone, muscle or nerve. The research into these new applications is ongoing and the future holds many exciting possibilities. The global surge in stem cell technology is taking the scientific world by storm. Many new discoveries are continually being made. With thousands of clinical trials and studies already approved by the Food and Drug Administration in the USA. In 1988, just one disease could be treated with umbilical cord blood stem cells and 10 years ago, just a handful. Today's stem cell transplants are the preferred choice treatment for myeloma, some acute leukemias and as a salvage treatment for lymphomas. In addition, the stem cells of the donor child have been successfully used in the treatment of over 70 diseases for family members and other recipients. Immediately after birth, you have a unique opportunity to collect your baby's umbilical cord stem cells merely using the surplus blood and tissue. Stem cell transplants have been successfully performed for 40 years, changing many lives. Traditionally, these have been done using bone marrow stem cells. Although bone marrow remains an alternative option, this is an evasive procedure and finding a matching donor is normally a lengthy and costly process, often with higher risk of tissue rejection and other complications. Research shows that cord blood transplants using family-related stem cells result in more than double the survival rate over using unrelated cord blood. These precious cells are also less likely to cause complications when being transplanted in a child or sibling. Supported by a large public banking system in the USA, the National Marrow Donor Program shows that umbilical cord stem cells are now the preferred source in pediatric treatments. Stem cells are also being used in clinical trials to treat heart muscle, rheumatoid arthritis, blindness, open wounds, ulcers, cerebral palsy, diabetes, and many more. So, what options do you have? 1. Decide not to bank. 2. Store your stem cell sample with a family bank. 3. Despite the huge need for a public bank in Africa, this option is not currently available. Although the chances of ever needing your stem cells are low, Families with stored samples are likely to be the first to benefit from emerging stem cell therapies and advances in regenerative medicine. Although your baby's stem cells will always be a perfect match, there is also a high probability of matching a sibling and a parent when compared to finding a match on the global registry. The chances of this may be in excess of 1 in 100,000. Cryosave has successfully released numerous umbilical stem cell samples for both treatments and clinical trials. 
If one looks at the current research into stem cells, it's absolutely mind-boggling. It's almost like science fiction. So I believe stem cells are going to play a major role in future. What we're not 100% certain of is exactly where we're going to source those stem cells from, because there are various sources of stem cells. However, if we look at current research, there's no doubt that for various reasons, cord and cord blood and the combination of cord and cord blood are certainly the most promising source of stem cells that we currently have. They're freely available. Thousands of litres of cord and cord blood are thrown away every day. So it's freely available and for various reasons um, it has properties that other stem cells don't have. So I think stem cells are going to be very valuable in future. I think the collection process needs to be explained to people. It's a very simple, safe procedure that doesn't affect outcome for mom or baby. One normally waits a few seconds for some of the blood from the placenta to go across to baby. We then clamp the cord and whilst we're waiting for the uterus to contract down nicely, you simply insert a needle into the cord. So it's painless for mom and painless for baby. Baby doesn't lose any stem cells. You still allow the stem cells that baby needs to migrate to baby. My suggestion is that people look at it as a speculative investment. If you can afford it, I would recommend doing it. If it involves a small sacrifice, I would suggest doing it. How are stem cells processed and stored? On arrival at the laboratory, your unique barcode is scanned. Your blood and tissue are tested and processed by highly experienced lab technicians in accordance with the highest standards around the world. This ensures that all our samples are accepted at transplant facilities internationally. After your sample has been successfully processed and packaged, they are carefully frozen down to an ultra-low temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius using liquid nitrogen. Your sample will remain safe and undisturbed until required. The CryoSave laboratories around the world are highly secure facilities designed for long-term cryogenic storage, giving you unmatched peace of mind. Include cord blood banking as one of those items you research and plan for prior to birth, just as you would for a pram and a car seat. If stem cell banking is right for your family, the process is simple. One. Contact the CryoSave help desk to receive your collection kit. 2. Pack your collection kit with your hospital bag. 3. At birth, give your collection kit to your doctor or midwife who will perform the collection for you. 4. Contact CryoSave immediately after birth to collect your kit. 5. You will receive confirmation of your storage shortly after birth. I've had challenges in the past with my health. I've had stage 4 testicular cancer and I've had a heart attack. So I know things can happen to anyone. I wanted to make sure that I'm in the best position possible should either of my daughters need any help medically. So saving stem cells was a very easy decision for me. It's a simple process and very affordable as well. I've definitely got peace of mind. CryoSave sets the highest quality standards in stem cell storage and focuses on making an important contribution to fight life-threatening diseases in the future. This remarkable and potentially life-changing service is available to you at affordable rates. Numerous payment options have been developed to facilitate your requirements and your monthly payment could cost less than your phone bill. While you plan for the well-being and safety of your family, consider stem cell storage as an insurance policy that you hopefully will never need. Investigate it thoroughly and assess carefully whether it's right for your family. Welcome to CryoSave, how may I assist you? This brief educational presentation was brought to you by CryoSave. Please contact our customer service centre for more information. We thank you for your careful consideration and we wish you the richest blessings with the rest of your pregnancy and your bundle of joy.